Hey everybody, welcome back to part six of the Pet Shop Build. In the last video, we finished the apartment complex. We are ready to break open bag number three and start building our pet shop. All right, it's time to get cracking on the second part of this pet shop, which is the actual pet shop. This is uh, bag three that we're gonna break into today. Here is our second instruction booklet. So if you're following along at home, you're gonna need to get that out. We also have our base plate. We have our trusty brick separator in case we need to use it. So let's start by breaking open these bags. We have, of course, bags within bags when it comes to these types of builds. There's just so many pieces, so many pieces. Oh, I found a dog. Well, we don't have to go too far to show you a minifigure, or a mini dog anyway. And we'll put that off to the side. We'll look at our minifigures a little bit more closely when our build is complete. Now we have two smaller bags within that bigger bag. We're gonna put the smaller pieces off to the side again. I like to do that because I can group them together keep everything right where I know it is. There we go. And we have some bones for our dog. Here's a couple little bones. So I'm going to uh, put these off to the side as well. We don't need to keep these out there. Can't build with bones. All right, we have another bag, number three, with some more bigger bricks in it put that over here like that then we have two smaller bag threes so i'm just going to put those over here to my right get all of the bricks out make sure we're not leaving any behind and then this i'm just going to put up here go across the top all right, that's it. Four bags, all the pieces are out. Here is our base plate. And look at that. We have a rat. So <laughs> we don't have to go too far again to show you a minifigure or a mini animal. Anyway, put that off to the side. And we have our little kitty cat. Shh, nobody tell Alexa. Uh, Lexi girl, she would, uh, <laughs> she would love to have this. She'd steal that out of my set and start playing with it. So put the cat off to the side and we do have two minifigures so we'll just collect some minifigure parts oh, there's a hairbrush for a minifigure just looking to see if there's an accessory somewhere nope they're not holding it so we'll we'll leave that off to the side as well okay we do need a bicycle there's a couple torsos our wheels are in here. I saw them. There's a wheel. There's a wheel. And I don't think we have any minifigure pants over here. Oh, yeah, we do. There's a pair of pants. Mm. I don't see the other pair of pants over here. How about over here? Here. A shorty pair of pants. There we go. And then I think we need one more hair piece. Yes, there it is. Okay, so we've seen this torso before on the gentleman. This is the green shirt with the V-neck cut out and the, the shirt underneath. And they're both the same style faces, so it really doesn't matter which one you put on what minifigure. I'm going to put the adult hair on. And that's our that's our adult minifigure. I'll bring them closer so you can have a look, see? We'll show them in closer detail later on. Put that figure off to the side. And now we have a little girl. Because we have the short legs. Same face. And longer hair in the back. And there's our, there's our girl minifigure. She has the longer longer ponytail in the back and we're going to build our bicycle there we go there's 
one wheel. They do have grooves um, to slide the wheel in, kind of little indentations. Uh, the back wheel is always the toughest. Uh, there's not as much play. There we go. That wheel spins, that wheel spins. Very good. And she's going to be on the bike. It stands up because there's a there's a stand on the bottom. You could just put it between some Lego pieces, but we're going to put that off to the side with our other mini figures for this set. We'll look at them later. And now let's break into this build. And right away we need tiles. Two looks like one by six tiles, and one one by three tile, or a one by four tile. Let's see what it covers. No, we got to go across the bottom here, so let's uh, push this up here so we can see it. You can see what we're building. No, it's a 1x4 tile because it goes all the way across the front. We'll just slide these over here. Oh, we don't want to lose any parts there. Losing parts. There we go. Oh, I found another parrot. <laughs> I found the parrot. No, there's just another little figure to show you guys it's a little parrot that's pretty cool put him over here with the rest of the little animals pet shop hey why not gotta have pets right all right now we need 10 2 by 2 tiles and 7 1 by 2 tiles all darker bluish gray 4 5 Six, seven, eight, nine. There's ten. One, two, five, six, and seven. One by twos, and then a grill plate. Uh, we need one of those. There we are. One of those. And since we're into the to the animals, found another parrot, and I also found a yellow frog. There's a yellow frog. So put those over here with our pets, and we can just keep these out of the way. Less pieces that we have to go through. Okay, so I'm going to go across the front. This is our sidewalk the lighter bluish gray is our curb and then we're going to put our grate in so we have our drainage for rain etc there we go we're going to go across here with our dark tiles and then we're going to come up skip a two by two space Across here with those, and our next row, and then finish off like that. Now we're going to create some tile work with alternating colors. So we are still going to need a 1x6 light bluish gray, 1x4, 1x4. Five one by two light bluish gray. That's a jumper plate. That's a jumper. That's a jumper. That's a jumper. Jumper. Here we go. One, two, three, four, and where's the fifth one? A one by two. One by two. One by two. That's a jumper. No, no. Here it is. Five. Now we need a darker one by two. Offset the color a little bit. Seven tan one by one tiles. Four. Five, six, 
seven, and then we need seven brown one by one tiles, dark brown. Six and seven. And that will do it there. So we're going to take the one by twos, and in the center, we're going to put the darker one like this. And then we're going to come up the sides like that. And then we're going to come over here. Actually, let's do this first. Close the gap there. Now we're going to come up the side there and up the side there. Now we got our tile work. Every other one with the darker one. And then top row like this. And then we get the lighter brown in there like this. And then we have a, a gap of two studs. All right, step four. We're going to need eight jumper plates. Light bluish gray. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Four one by two tiles in the dark bluish gray. One, two, three. There's three. And four. There we go. And then we need two one by one dark bluish gray tiles. There's one. There's two. Two one by eight dark bluish gray. Right, they're over here. Yeah. One, one, two. One one by one. Black. Yep, there we go. And five one by four. Dark bluish gray. One, two, three, four, five. There we go. Let's just move these over here. Slide them off to the side. Okay, there's our build. So we're going to do the tiles straight across, or the, the jumper plates, I mean, straight across, right above these tiles that we laid down. There we go. I'm going to take a couple of the One by two tiles go above that, and then a one by four, and then we're going to have a longer one by eight tile, and then a one by four, and a one by one, another one by four going down, and another one by eight across. And then we're going to take a black, one by one, put it in the corner there. And then two more tiles coming back up now. One by twos. I'm going to go back across. One by four. And then we're going to do our single one by one. And then our final one by four up like that. Now we got more tile to do in step five. So we need one one by two in the light tan or sand color. And then we need two one by one light sand tiles. There we go. We need 11 two by two sand tiles. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There's eleven. And we need twelve.
12 2 by 2 blue tiles. These are the lightish blue. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Okay. Now we're going to create some tile patterns inside the enclosed area that we just set up, alternating colors across the back. other tiles are going to come in, so I need a, that one, and a two one by ones, then a blue, and we're going to finish up the tiling here, just like that. Okay. Uh, we need corner bricks here. These are the... Um, angled. They're black. And they look just like this. We need one of those. And three black one by ones. One, two, three. Two brown one by twos with a hole in the center. Uh, a two by four. One brick high block, two darker blue, two by twos with a corner cut out, mm. no, that's not it, that's not it. Oh, we need one, one of those. Need three, one by twos. Just put those there. Oh, four one by fours. One, two, three, four. There we go. These are what we need there. Those ones. We need two of those. And there they are. And we need two black Technic pins. Okay, let's start laying these down. Okay, so the these bricks are going to go back to back, opposite angle. And a one by four, fill in that hole, and then we have these black corner bricks. One's going to go there. Black one by one is going to go here. Black one by one goes here. One by four. One by two. They're going to come down here all the way to the end, just like that. Then we're going to have our first Technic pin. This is what's going to join to the apartment building that we finished building already. And in case you missed any of those videos, you can click on one of the cards in the upper right-hand corner of the video, or there's a link down below in the description where you can go check out those other builds and follow along to where we are right now. Oops. This goes right in the corner like that, and then this bigger block goes across that way, and then this goes in the center, skipping one on each side. And that is everything. Now on to step seven.
We need another angled brick for a corner, an archway, three more one by ones like that. And then two more brown one by twos with the Technic hole. Two more one by four darker blues. There's one. There's two. And then three more darker blue one by twos like that. Okay. Now we're going to go across this way. So this one by one is going to go here. And we're going to take a one by two, put it right behind that. And we're going to take our archway and a one by one. And then we have our Technic brick there. And then a one by four. And then a one by two. And another one by four. And then our last Technic brick, one by two. Now we have this in the corner on that side, and then our last one by one black, like that. On to step eight. All right, so this is where we bring our pets into the picture. So we have our cat. Is it cat? Why would the cat be there? I figured that would be a mouse, but that little that little archway, uh, I would think that it would be for a mouse, but the cat is actually peeking out the mouse hole on the inside, right? So it must be waiting for the mouse to either come into the building or something along those lines, because the mouse itself is actually on the other side, and it shows it going away from... Oops, slide that down one, there we go. So the you got one stud, tails curling, curling around the stud, sticking into the little mouse hole, just like that. I don't know if you can see that any better from this angle. Now we have a bucket, which is here. And that's right next to the mouse. Probably for washing, I'm going to guess. Suds, bathing the animals, something like that. Okay. And then the brush that we found. The brush is inside the bucket. Then we have our canine. He's over here, kind of angled at that corner. And one of the bones is down here. Just kind of hanging out with the dog. And that's that's just a loose bone. It really doesn't lock in to any of the Legos. It'd be great if it did. Oh, now i got to get it out. <laughs> oh, there goes the brush. Interesting. All right, well. Just be careful. Little pieces. I want to lose them. And now we need a uh, this crate looking device. And that is going to go right here in the back. Yeah. Just like that. All right. And number 9, now we're going to get into some of the blue tiles. This color here this is, this is actually a nice color. Uh, we need a block. Two by four block. Two, four, six. Two one by sixes. There, two, four, six. Yep. Two of those. Two one by fours. Yep, yep. And then two one by ones. There we go. So we have a one by one over here. Oop, I just hit Fido. Don't want to knock him over. He's doing a trick. Stay. Good dog. There's those. 
all the way up the side. And then our final one by one here. And then this is going to go in one and then on top of that that blue brick that was there. One one by six. Three one by fours. One, two, three. And then two more one by twos. Like that. And we're gonna go stack up this side now. So that's a one by one. One by four. One by four. Another one by four. And the one by six. And the one by one. And we also need a one by two light tan. Mm-hmm. One, two. Yes. Okay. Now one, one by six. Very popular. That's gonna go right here, center. One one by three light tan. That'll go there. One one by two dark blue. And that's going to go here. There is still a little bit sticking out from that block that was underneath right here so you're going to put the one by two on top of that right behind our our two by four brown and we need two more black corner bricks right here right here and that's just going to stack this up a little bit taller stack this side up a little bit taller and four black one by ones one two, three, and four. And that's going to raise... Oh! Uh, flying dogs. Aha. Uh -huh. I put this brick on one. Got to slide it down one. There we go. There should be a stud exposed on the end here. Because these are all going to be even in height. There we go. And then we need four glass pieces. Like those. Even these all the way around like that. Oh, my fingers just can't get in there. There we go. There, just like that. Perfect. Now, let's do a couple more steps, and then I think we'll call it a video. We'll end it. Oh, this has got a lot of parts. We'll be able to get through a lot of things here. So you need a drawer. And uh, this uh, counter w w with the slots so you can slide the drawers in. Here's a drawer, top drawer. And then, of course, the top drawer has some cash. So we do have some printed cash that's in the set. That'll go in the drawer. There's only one $100 printed tile. And then we need... Uh, one by one, black with the circle sticking out the side here. And let's see, we need a single black one by one square. Come on, get on there. There we go. Make sure it's all lined up nice and square. That's not lining up for me. There we go. Tough one to turn. All right. Two white tiles, one by two. They're going to go across the top like this. And then we need a black modified tile. 
Let's do them like this. And a joystick. Almost looks like a one-armed bandit, right? Woo! Maybe we'll win some slots tonight. No, just kidding, kids. So cash register handle. And then we need a cheese wedge, a clear cheese wedge, which is somewhere amongst these pieces. Here we go. There we go. Old-fashioned cash register when you don't have some of the more modern bricks. And then that's just going to go like that. And we need four one by four tiles in black to complete this step. And then these are going to go across here. Two on that side and two over here by the dog. There. There we go. Cool. All right, one more. Oh, right, we're going to bring in our parrots. So let's get our parrots from the side there. We'll pull them into the picture. We need one more one by three with an arch. And we need a couple of those uh, telescope-looking things, posts. And we're going to stick them here, one in each of the base openings like that. And we're going to sit our parrots on top. Slightly different colored, by the way, if you didn't notice. I'll hold them side by side. They're slightly different colors. The same color, but I mean different pattern, which, uh, which is neat. This one has green that goes up part of the back. This one goes all the way up, and there's more green color, more green on the wing and on the chest. Green on this side for him. Very, very little green on that side. So it's nice to have two different looking parrots. They're going to be right in the front window. Just like that. Very good. Well, I think we can stop there. We're on step 14 of book two. And we got a good foundation of the pet shop. Uh, we're building up the walls. We placed our pets. We have some neat tile work in the front here. So we're glad that you were able to stop with us and, and catch this video. Uh, please leave a thumbs up if you liked it. We would love to hear your comments. Click that subscribe button so we could send you alerts when we have more posts out to our channel. Feel free to browse our other videos, and we hope you'll join us for the next part coming real soon. Until then, happy building.